Previously on Dreamscape Divided. I spent an hour setting up a prank, but it culminated in almost nothing. So that was great. Here's here's the result. <laughs> I'm holding an axe. Time to die. I'm Phil Frost. This is the Lost Boys World. And it's time. I don't know what we're doing today, but it's alright. You know, seems I have been pranked. <laughs> you just got meloned! <laughs> yeah, you got meloned, so as you can see, you only own melons now. As for where your actual stuff is, uh... Happy birthday. It's time. Yeah, I can't believe it's already June 7th. It feels like just yesterday it was Christmas and we're already here. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're moving, boys. Yeah, six months went by. In like so two fast. days. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, it's melon time. Oh, I'm getting beat up. There's a gang. <laughs> There's a gang of skeletons. No. The good news They've is, entered the tunnel. The good news is I do have food. It lasts me for many years. Yep. Look at that. Bam. Oh, there is a take all button. I was about to say, if there's not, it's it's over. I will find my stuff one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I genuinely have no plans for this episode. Uh, I'm going to let the internet decide. What is that? Look at this gear. Okay, now that I didn't do. I don't know what that is. I don't remember making a mine in my old little cave house. But apparently I did. Yeah, I don't think it's down here, so... I'm gonna search in Google Images. <laughs> of all places. Not just normal Google. The images. What to do in Minecraft. Okay, what I got is a picture of Steve standing in the middle of a heart. And it says, I can't take my eyes off of you. Uh, so I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that image is, is what I'm doing right now. You know, it would be funny if you just like took all my stuff and just threw it in lava. <laughs> yeah, well, I was worried when I was transferring it. There was going to be a glitch. And yeah, it's it wasn't going to be good. All your stuff is going to vanish. Yeah, what'd you get for your birthday? Oh, let's see. Bunch of garbage, really. Oh, no. <laughs> Is I the only one who remembered? Yeah, that's probably... Oh. Yeah, that's probably how it is. Oh, man. Not even the people you live with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they don't care. Oh, no. They didn't know. They didn't know it was the day. Yeah, they didn't know that... <laughs> I mean, they it's always know. June 7th. Why would it not be this year? While I build a heart and make a sign that says I can't keep my eyes off of you. Well, this isn't even a story for the people listening. It's mainly a story for Travis, but you guys can listen too. I'm going to tell you this. Uh, so you know how in my room I have my computer positioned in front of a window so I can see the, outer, the outside world. Well, multiple times this past week, maybe even the week and a half, I've seen... The same person outside my window in various locations at various times throughout the day. And that they're always bad. just standing there. They're not my neighbor or anything. They're, they're just... And they're not a rando either. That's the weirdest part of the story. I'm pretty sure it's Elvis Presley. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, he died I... in 1977. That's what... That's... Well, that's what we know. He died in 1977. But, no. he He's here. He's outside of our house now. Just standing there. It's like the motionless man from before. Except now he's not a rando. He's Elvis Presley. And he's standing outside of our house. Instead of at a Dollar Tree. <laughs> I wonder if you're experiencing the same guy. That I experience at my house. If that's the case, 
is is your guy Elvis Presley? I mean, he, he he's Elvis Presley if Elvis Presley was still alive now. Oh no! Like if you just like, picture him still alive, that's what he looks like. Mm. Like a really old Elvis Presley. I that's see. the guy that stops in front of my house. Okay. And just stares at it, which is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like weird staring guy just staring at your house. Yeah. Ugh. But yeah. Interesting. So Elvis Presley is stalking us both. Yeah, I came geocaching and I found myself at your house. So yeah, now I doubt my stuff's here. Since you came all the way here, I'll I'll give you a hint. You'll find your stuff where the melons grow. Well, you know, okay, they they grow in the jungle. So, and you you replaced my sweet berries with melons. So. They do grow there. I'm just looking for roses now. And bones. It's my two my two things I want to find. Roses and bones. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Whoa. Happy birthday. That's another sign. Yeah, I just uh, I didn't know which way you were going to leave your house, so I was like, well whichever way he goes, I want him to know that I've remembered his birthday. On today, June seventh. This is where the melons grow. Hey, you found your stuff. Hey, there's my goods. I do eventually want to make a better house, cause I'm not gonna lie. What you're seeing here is this, this is not it. <laughs> this is not this is not the goods. This is the garb. Mm. I can do better than that. Eight episodes in, where are we? Pretty much where we were, episode three or something. <laughs> Haven't progressed. Yeah, it took us like, I don't know, what, five episodes to really get done with your house? Or something. Yeah, it took me hitting my head on the bathroom floor to finish my house. That wasn't even recorded. That, that took like eight hours. <laughs> yeah, that should have been recorded. <laughs> Yeah, not even the Minecraft part. Just me <laughs> hitting my head on the floor. I mean, we reference it so much. I guess it should have been. By we, I mean mainly I. I keep bringing it up. That's the good thing about when bad things happen to you that are funny. Is they're not good at the time, but after they happen, you can just keep bringing them up and laughing about it. Right, just imagine that. It's like, that's the video. <laughs> then just... 20 minutes of me laying there. I don't think it was 20 minutes. I think I woke up pretty quick. But, man. Could edit the video. Put it in slow motion. I'm there forever. <laughs> One hour of Phil on the bathroom floor. That, that'll be the short video for this week. We'll just be animated Phil hitting his head on the bathroom floor. And sitting there for an hour. That's not a short, but... Uh, There'll be a short version and a long version. What if you just put it on a repeat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the video only lasts half a second, but it's on repeat, so you get to relive it over and over. I'm looking for something crazy. Oh, basic stuff's not going to work. There's a village out here. Wait, haven't you been to that one? I think you were. you went to that one in the first episode. Because I remember you found a village, then I was trying to find it, and that's what got me killed, is I'm, I just could never find it, so I was wandering endlessly. Furnaces are gone. Oh, the, the floor's gone! The floor is I gone. I don't remember you taking the floor. I'm a bit confused about that one. I don't know why you would take the floor. I would have took the floor. If I, if I, I took almost the walked floor, in lava. <laughs> we, might have to, we might have to just go back and watch the videos just to see if I took the floor. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to. Because I'm like, did I take the floor? Luckily, back then, I mean, if you didn't take the floor, I'm going to be confused because I, I have no idea why I would take the floor. There's another blacksmith here. What? The door's open. At least the floor isn't gone. Somebody came through here. There's a man already living here, but that's okay. Yeah, here we are. 
I've now acquired the goods I need to survive. I've never walked into a village house, and my first thought is, let me go ahead and steal this man's floor. Yeah, I, I, I can see why I might have to take the furnaces. Yeah, one day, just to test to see what random... Why is there a creeper here? I'm not safe anywhere in the Lost Boys world. <laughs> this is why I always play on peaceful off camera. I don't even care anymore. I'm going to say it. I play on peaceful because of this junk. Apparently, peaceful. But one day I want to test your dreamscape divided knowledge. See how much you remember by just showing you random video clips and then asking you what happens next. See how much you can actually recall. Oh, that's going to be like maybe 10%. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. That's your prediction is 10%. I'm going to say that you're better than you expect and you get like 30, 30%. I'm not going to lie. I mean, my <laughs> other house didn't look like much, but at least you could tell what it was. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> this looks like. It's like an optical illusion. Like, it does. Yeah. Like, yeah. As you get closer, you're like, wait, things are a little off, but as you're far away. It kind of has a factory feel to it. It's like there's a giant uh, spring or something turning up into the base, like a screw or something. Maybe if you put like a bunch of bunch of towers or more screws just around the area, you could be living in like some sort of mechanical steampunk type place. Yeah, a factory. I live in a factory. You know, it because you, you're right. It is weird. It's hard to tell what it is, but it has a vibe, and I like that it has a unique vibe. It has. A, I don't know. Your old house. I don't think it really had a vibe. It just was. <laughs> it existed that's what it did this like this looks pretty interesting when you're up close yeah it feels like it could be something yeah far away you're like i don't know what this is it also kind of looks like some sort of rig like an oil rig drilling into the earth yeah it's an oil rig man. <laughs> this is the house <laughs> it's connected to. where you live man i live at the oil rig <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay. I mean, I, this looks like one of those. It almost looks like a like a weather station that you would see in Antarctica. Like, mm. There'd be a big dome on the top of it. Okay. Like that's what it looks like from right here. Like it looks like this building right here. This looks like it's about to be a satellite. Well, this episode was weird. We went from my my lame prank to uh. To staring at Travis's house and interpreting it as if it were an ink blot test or something. Yeah, I'm Phil Frost. That's Travis Crouton. Uh, See you next time on Lost Boys, the adventures of man who accomplishes almost nothing each episode and man who does something while other guy talks for most of the time. The end. This is the end. <laughs> Goodbye. The channel's over. No, it's not. The end. Uh, the end of this episode. Hey, remember when mm-hmm existed? Uh, he's gone.